What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the Kansas City Royals franchise here on MLB The Show 23. I'm DFG. And after a three-game uh, really rough start to the season in our opening series against the Seattle Mariners, where we lost all three games, we are now going to continue with our season here and begin simulating as uh, we get our first game up here, or our final game against Seattle in the uh, series as we lost, so they swept us. But we go right into this next one where Gary Nixon could shut out the Los Angeles Dodgers, the World Series champions. So we're going to jump into this game. Gary Nixon, a man who we drafted, I believe, in the first year draft. And he's getting an opportunity after only a few years of development to start in the on the major leagues this year. And... Uh, he seems to have gotten off to a pretty good start to the season. That change up there was very good. Got Mookie Benz, Betts out in front. And he's going to catch him with the slider, and that's going to end the eight. So we've got one more opportunity to add some more runs here to give Nixon more of a chance to uh, get some to get some more insurance for Nixon here. Arroyo is up first. One of our new signings who hasn't really hit the ground running for us yet. And that slider there gets him. Uh, yeah, he was out in front there. Um, I think Arroyo could be a decent addition to this team. He just needs to hit for contact. Um, he's no Luis Arise. I don't know if, uh, you know, he's obviously much higher when it comes to his on base and and, and contact, but I think Arroyo can kind of be a poor man's arise, but he's going to pop out here. Vinny Pasquantino's actually got off to a very poor start this season, and after what he did last year, it's kind of a little bit disappointing. And he's actually going to ground out to the first baseman here, and Phil Pickford is through uh, two here with only one more left to go. A new uh, signing for us again, Rowdy Telez. He takes that ball inside. I like Telez um, for the power, but uh, hasn't had had some had some success against the Mariners in our first series. But that's a bad strikeout. So we go into the final uh, inning here with Nixon, um, with still only three runs. Complete game shutout for Nixon in what I believe is his first start of the season. So that's a really good beginning. But that will get through uh, the infield. I think it's time we make the change now. We don't want to give him an opportunity here. Yeah, we'll bring in Scott Barlow. And Barlow had an absolutely superb uh, season last year. 2.63 ERA. I think he had something like um, 45 saves or 38. I don't know. Something in that area. And Freddie Freeman's going to hit him hard into left center field. And that's actually going to bring home a runner here for sure. So Barlow uh, gives up a run here in the top of the ninth. Still got two more runs to work with as, as an RBI double. Back on the mound for Barlow as he faces Smith. That slur was high, but outside. I don't really get much of a chance to kind of talk to you guys outside of the games, but uh, how are you guys doing? I know it's kind of at the point of the year where, you know, it's uh, kind of after the start of the year, the, and it's right before the weather starts getting good, but at least where I am, and you're kind of past the Easter's and the, the St. Patrick's Days and stuff and getting time off, so... I want to see how you guys are doing. I know that this can kind of be a crappy part of the year, but uh, Barlow here. But we'll get the strikeout on a fastball inside. I don't know how you guys. Obviously, a lot of Americans would watch this, so you're probably. I know that the the weather for you is significantly different, and Barlow gets his second strikeout. He's uh he's got one on two out now. Max Muncy. Is the final out, and he's gonna pop out. So obviously, as I was saying, like you know, the weather here kind of sucks at the moment. But we're getting into the summer right now, so things are gonna look starting to look good. And with our Kansas City Royals here as well, as they get our as we get our first win of the season against the champion Dodgers. Didn't the Dodgers win the seri uh, World Series last year in the franchise? We're not really paying attention to that part of it because we're just we've never really been even challenging for a playoff spot, so I can't really remember. 
Solid uh, win there. And now we could get another win against the uh, Dodgers. Bickford on the mound again. And we actually do get the win here. And Barlow's trying to close them out. So let's see if he can do that again. No, they come back and beat us 8-3. They're really to protect him. Barlow blows that as well. Now we've got another young pitcher here. Ben Kuderna, who could possibly go for a complete game shutout. Nixon fail. Let's see if Kuder Kuderna can get it. Kuderna, another one of the youngsters who got his place on the, the roster based on his spring training play. Kuderna's... Uh, been someone we've been looking forward to you. Well, I've been looking forward to using at the major league level, and he's actually got off to a really good start this year. That's one out there. CJ Crone is up. That's gonna pop up, and Perez. Oh, almost missed that, but that's two down. This could be a complete game shutout for Kuderna. Ryan McMahon on one now. And he's actually going to get that down into left field. Melendez will cut it off, so it's only going to be a single. That one gets through the infield again. Danny Jansen gets that into left field. We are 20 runs up, so it's not like Kuderna has a lot to, to struggle with here. And in the end, he will indeed finish it up, grounding... Uh, getting a ground ball to second base. And the Royals will indeed win. 20 runs uh, uh, scored and on 22 hits, I think it was. So, fine offensive performance. We finally kind of hit the ground running with that in that game. But uh, Ben Kudrin, a complete game shutout. Only leaving up five hits throughout the entire game. That's very impressive by the young, uh, young pitcher. Six strikeouts, only two walks. Great performance by Ben Kuderna. Four for five for our new backup uh, catcher, James McCann. And five for six for Randall Grichuk. So, really good performances there. As we continue to do some simulating. And uh, Scott Barlow trying to close the door on Tampa Bay. He did do it that time, though he's not been fantastic. Also beat Tampa 5-0. Uh, another uh, critical situation there as we beat the Marlins and MJ Melendez is back from injuries. We lose to Boston to end that week. I want to face New York here. I think I want to use um, Ben Kuderna for a full game. See how we get on against him. We're using him, so we'll do that. And we beat Boston to make sure we don't get swept. Um... Tyler Glasnow, not got off to a great start against the uh, this season, but lost to the Yankees there. But we will play this game with Ben Cooter. We are going to bat first, though, and Domingo German is the man on the mound. Uh, actually, a pretty good start to the season for German. Uh, 1.32 ERA. Bobby Witt Jr. going to lead off for us today, and that one's going to fly out to center, it seems, indeed. That's one up, one out for Domingo Herman. I'm pretty sure it is Herman. I don't know why I call him German. I know it's Herman. And Rowdy Telez is going to strike out, and that's going to bring us to the bottom of the first. And this will bring in Ben Kuderna, who's got off to an even better start than uh, our uh, our opponent's uh, starting pitcher today. ERA of 0.31 and a whip of 0.89. So, Kudan has been red hot to start the season. That was a good fastball low there by Kudan. And Peraza did go. So, he's 1-2 and two now. Three pitches into his day. Not a great start to the season for Peraza. As he's only hitting uh, 155. Quite sure what pitch I want to throw here. Probably the a breaking pitch outside, and that one's going to fly out to first base. McCann is there. One up, one down for Kudrina. Full count, and Jace Peterson's going to walk. So that's uh, Kudrina's first um, 
Man left on base today, and that brings up Aaron Judge, not someone you want to see here. Start off with the fastball in the zone. Two and two, changeup is low. Giancarlo Stanton on uh, on deck. What can he do? Can you get Judge out? Not quite yet, as um, Judge has fouled that one off. But he misses the changeup, and he strikes out Aaron Judge. Strike there inside on Stanton after going 2 0 to begin with. But Stanton has crushed that one, turned on an inside. I think it was a fastball. And that's going to give the New York Yankees a 2 0 lead here earlier. Stanton's uh, third home run of the season already. 435 feet with. Uh, yeah, that was a really, really good hit. And Tudor now leaves up a home run here in the first inning. Christian Walker, and he's going to ground to wit, and that's going to end the first. Two runs left in by Kudron at the start today. The rain is coming down significantly, but Salvador Perez has smashed that into left field. That's a single. That is it. You wonder about if the tarp is going to come out. One on, two out. Connor Hollis. Nice pit back up the middle. And Perez might have just have enough speed to get in. And he will indeed. An RBI single for Connor Hollis. The uh, versatile third baseman who has got off to a pretty poor start to the season. But drives in a run there. And James McCann got uh, decent contact on that. But it's straight to the left fielder. And that's going to end the top of the second. Ooh, a slider there. That was actually a good hit, a uh, good pitch to me, but they say that's ball one. Green does ground to Sir Hollis, who uh, can play in second base, and that's where he's playing today. And Kuderna is going to get another ground ball to end the second and uh, put up a zero. And Grichuk is going to strike out. And that is the middle of the third going to the bottom. Or maybe not, actually. They're, it looks like they're going to bring out the tarp and have a bit of a rain delay. I think we'll keep in Kudrna for the time being. I don't have any pitchers warmed up. So we'll see how, we get, how he gets on. He is going to get tired, but we'll see how he gets on here. And Peraza is actually going to get through. So that's one up. Uh, one on one out here for Kudrna. And he's going to get through it. Says he's going to end the third. But I think I'm going to take out Kudrna for the next inning. They did switch pitchers. And Telez is actually going to get a hit off Eduardo Rodriguez here. To start the fourth. Not the kind of contact you want, and indeed it'll be caught. Left up too high, and we'll go to the bottom of the fourth. We're going to bring in Ryan Yarbrough, probably one of our best pitchers who come out of the bullpen and always get, get, eats up a lot of innings. Against Giancarlo Stanton here. It's slown out to right field. Bradley tries to get there, but it will get down, and Giancarlo Stanton is going to get a stand-up double now. Good start to the day for Stanton. A home run and a double. All extra base hits. Ooh, nice sweeping curve by Yarbrough to get Cabrera there. Now it's Elijah Green. And he's going to smash that one right back up the middle. And Stanton's going to jog in to get the third run of the day. And that's going to give the Yankees a 3-1 lead now. But he will... Get some damage control here, Yarbrough, but Elijah Green will get the third run of the day for the Yankees. Make that single number two for Connor Hollis. That's two for two now for the youngster. Well, he's not really young anymore. I think he's 29 years old, but he's been a minor leaguer his entire career until this point. Unfortunately, Ojeda is going to ground to first, and that's going to... Bring us to the bottom of the fifth.
top of the sixth. And Bobby Wade Jr. one and one, and he gets uh, a hit into right field. Perez, last chance here as he smashes one into left field, but it's tracked down and probably should have got something out of that. Judge is up here first to start the bottom of the six and it's stopped by Freeman at third base, but uh, Judge will get there and he'll get an infield single. But it uh, looks like Garber's going to come back with a double play in the very next ball. Indeed, he will. He gets Stanton and Judge. And that's going to be ground at the first, and that'll end the sixth. One and one. Oh, you leave that up there. People are going to hit that one and one now. One ball, two strikes. And the circle change. Change of pace. Cash Cabrera. So they're, they're not in the greatest of positions, but it's getting the job done right now. And the sweeping curve low is beautiful. And that'll be a strikeout. Oh, cutter up high and in there for Elijah Green. And he struggled to catch up with it. And that's a strikeout number two in the inning. So bottom of the seventh now. Through two. Two strikeouts for Yarbrough. He's uh, at up a... Three or uh, I think it's uh, three innings now for. Nope, that's a ball. This will be his fourth actually. But he start off with two balls here to Rortvet. Sweeping curve does get in there though. Can he come back? That one's outside, so three and one now. And 40 pitches for Yarbrough. And they're going to say that that's uh, outside, that that's low. But that was in the zone. But they'll say it's a walk. But Yarbrough is going to come back with a ground ball to end the seventh. And get another zero on the board. I we'll talk about poor starts to the season. Vinny Pasquantino is one who has got off to a poor start. Only hitting 195. But he gets... On base, uh, gets on base on ball that time. Another slow start. Another man with a slow start, Anthony Santander. It's not going to get any better from here. Strike out in the, in the eighth. Ostrander has come in here, and he's going to get a strike out of Peraza on the fastball inside. And he's going to get Aaron Judge for his second strikeout to end the eighth. Michael King's going to come in for the Yankees to see if he can uh, close this one out. 7.1 ERA. You probably expect us to do a little bit better than how we've done so far. As now that's 0-2, Christian Arroyo. So not a bad person to have up in this situation. Someone who maybe can get some contact, but not on balls like that Yankees win three to one and uh, that's not the greatest of performances by us today had some hits there just never really got into a rhythm in any of the innings other than I think it was the second inning we got some hits that drove in the run we had five hits in the day and Ben Cooter is um gets his first loss of the season Got to protect a run here. And the Yankees are actually going to turn it around. So that's another blown save by Scott Barlow. And possibly uh, you look at maybe getting rid uh, or looking to trade him. Um, I'm not quite sure, but we'll, we'll, we'll take a look. More simulating here as we get into May. And uh, a lot of uh, injuries in our minor leagues. Scott Barlow once again. He does take care of that save, but uh, he's already had three in the first month. I think he only had three all of last year. Kind of thinking maybe you put him on the trade block as we continue to have problems with injuries and guys coming back. And I think it's time we need to take a look at the roster now. Yeah, looking at Scott Barlow here, he's just had a terrible start to the season. And uh, he's only pitched seven innings, blown three saves, a 7.04 ERA. 
I will add him to the trade block. I'm more of a guy who wants to get rid of a player before he starts to, you know, um, regress and, and then go from there. So I'm going to try and get rid of him now. I'm not going to actively try and trade him, but I, I will, you know, put him on the trade block. We've had a lot of poor starts this season. And he's Stan Tander, who's only here for a season, has all his minor league options. So I'm going to send him down. And... Um, going to bring up um, Gavin Cross, who I think has had a good start to his uh, season down in AAA. And Lou Ojeda, who I brought up after a very good spring training. He just hasn't had an opportunity to really play in the first month or so. So he's going to be sent back down to AAA to see how he gets on. And I think someone who might be more useful to us is Nick Prado. So I'm going to bring him up. Um, both Pasquantino and Teles aren't fantastic defensively. So we'll bring Prado up. Maybe he can stay there first so we're 13 and 21 to start the season I'm, I'm you know i'm not surprised by that though you know with the players that we've brought in guys like christian arroyo and he sent in there lucas sims guys who you know guys we've brought in like anthony sent in there uh, christian arroyo haven't really made the impact that we would have liked them to um even tyler glasnow who's you know in our one of our better pitchers has not been very good i understand he always had a high era but i thought he could maybe do something for us but uh, that's all we have time for here today for more content please like and subscribe as there will be plenty more on the way and uh, we'll see you in the next one peace out guys